Morning everybody, here we are live again, Friday with Phil Facebook Live. Uh, how are you all doing? You probably hear Rufus barking in the background. He <laughs> can hear me talking. Uh, he might come up and join us shortly. Anyway, how are you all doing? Rufus, we can hear you. <laughs> Right, are we ready? Right, I'm going to get started. So, good morning, everybody. Morning, darling. Uh, I, I don't know how to move all the comments, so as soon as they start coming on, I'll have to try and scroll and keep everybody going. Right, so we're doing something a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you another way to use the uh, water pens. Uh, we're going to do some watery background stamping. So what we're going to do is put that to one side. You can see where I've got to. That's probably it. I'm going to put my glasses on so it might help me see. Morning, Leslie. Morning, Jane. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, medley stamps. Now, I don't know whether you can remember these. These are what I released last summer. Um, and what, one of the unfortunate things about doing the whole Chandra and doing shopping TV in general is that you only ever really get to use things once. Uh, and it's a shame because they were they were such good stamps. So I thought let's let's bring them back. Ideas. So some of you may have seen these, some of you may have not. Uh, so I'm just going to go through them with you. You know, I always do collections. I don't just do like one or two stamps. I do a whole collection. So I'm going to show you them. So that's the this is the birthday medley. I don't know how clear the picture is for you. It looks a little bit blurry to me, but hopefully you can see that okay. So I'm just going to turn that around so you can see the actual stamp. So these are full A6 size. Uh, I call them medleys, but they're really like montages, collages. Morning, 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 everybody. Uh, so this, you can see quite clearly that this is the birthday one. When I designed these, what I wanted to do was create lots of different little elements that you can decoupage if you want. So, for example, we've got the champagne bottle, you've got the presents, the balloon, you've got a big stack of presents there. You've even got the bunting up there. So, clearly, you know, this is going to be the one you use loads because it's a birthday one. A6 means it's a really good size as well. So, if you want to do bigger cards like I do, it will work. If you just like to do lots of cards and you sell them for charity or for yourself, you can do A6 cards and it looks like it's taken you ages to do them. So that's the birthday medley. This is my second set. You know, I have a second set that I keep clean. So this one here is the botanical, and this is the one that I'm going to be using today. Love this one. Absolutely love it. Let me just turn it around. So you can see, again, we've got loads and loads of different elements within that. You've got the flowers in there. You've got the big daisy, which is what we're going to be colouring in. You've got dragonflies, lots of text, some little inks, flats. One thing I will say about these, morning, everybody. Sorry, let me just scroll it down. There we go. Morning, morning. Oh, you found me, Sandy. Morning, boss. Make sure you'll be working. <laughs> uh, so one of the things that I was really conscious of when I designed these is you sometimes see lots and lots of like collage and montage stamps, and they're really, really dark and, and grungy. Now, you know that I do dark and grungy, but I like to make it pale and pretty. So that's what you've got here. You've got lots of open space, so it's not too, it's not too in your face and not too black. This is the Amore medley. So this is obviously for weddings, civil partnerships, that kind of thing. I made sure I didn't put wedding day. I just put from this day forward. So it works for just about every every person that you might know. And I'm just going to quickly, I'll try and whiz through these quickly because I want to get onto the demo. So again, you've got that gorgeous big wedding cake, celebration cake there. You've got the church, the champagne bottles, and that gorgeous, gorgeous text in the middle. And this is the one that everybody loved when I first released them. This is the military medley which is obviously geared to the armed forces, all of them. So you can see that I try to include everybody. I do know from one of my girls who comes to my Thursday night class that I miss the ladies out. So when I do some more of these, I'll make sure the ladies and the services are covered. Not wanting to miss anybody out. And I love this one. This is the nautical medley. Turn it around again. So you can see we've got the sailing boats. We've got the lighthouse in the corner, anchors, the compass. So much detail in these. Did Have you all seen these? Are, is there anybody here that hasn't seen these? Let me know. Right, so this one here is the mystical medley. So you've got the fairy in the corner. You've got the unicorn at the bottom. Uh, you've got the, the text in the middle. Let me turn it around. It says, leave a sparkle wherever you go. Love it, love it, love it. It's just so pretty. Right, so that's the medley stamp. 
they're my clean set you know i like to keep a second set nice and clean the one that i'm going to be using is a bit used <laughs> so i'm going to bring in where i'm at so my style you know flowers you know i like to have pretty you know i like to have it looking um i'm not going to say professional because i hate it when when people in our business say it's a really professional result there's no such thing we're all crafters at the end of the day all you get is 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 good results or bad results and we've all made bad cards and thrown them away uh, you won't believe how many i throw away so i'm just going to quickly tell you what i've got here and i'll whiz through them so you can see i've used my ovals i'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up big card again remember i am going to give this card away so i will select from the um comments in the morning probably about lunchtime tomorrow so i'll just scroll through and choose a name at random so the papers i've used are from the weekend wow these are the um polka dots and pinstripes absolutely love these absolutely love them so can you see here i've gone for this color palette so i told you this card wouldn't be anything like the one i put on the picture i'm still using the medleys but it's completely different so you've got this beautiful beautiful ombre shade now i love neutral colors absolutely love neutrals so you've got this like dusky minky brown fading into this beautiful beautiful yellowy mustard color and you get that with all the designs so you've got the thick stripes you've got the positive polka dot i can't show you the others but i will go through the papers in a second and i've die cut already my leaves and everything from that so you know that it's really good quality paper i'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to get cracking. Shall I show you the papers first? Do you want me to show you the papers quickly first? Because I've got them on my side. Let me know. Morning, everybody. What day has been day, Phil? Sarah, it's today. They've just been. <laughs> I've just shut my craft room door because you could hear them rattling in the corner. Oh, morning. Right, let's quickly show you these papers then. I know you've seen them on TV, but sometimes we whiz through things so quickly, you, you miss out. So this is my set that I've not even started yet. You know, I always, oh, look at the lines. Is that going to dazzle everybody? <laughs> Sorry if it does. So I'll just explain to you the two different color palettes. So we have the Enchanted set and we have the Romance. Yeah, so the Enchanted is, is stronger colors. So you've got the purple going into the pink. I'll do a quick flick through, you, through it for you. Are you ready? Try not to look too closely because it might make you so you've got that all oh, that gorgeous gorgeous colors might make your eyes go funny so you've got the teal into the turquoise there you've got the purple into the pink at the end there purple into blue i'm quickly flicking uh don't ask me to choose a favorite because i can't i designed them specifically there's your there's your negative polka dot I designed them specifically so that you've got two different color palettes you've got the kind of brighter stronger colors which is the enchanted and then you have these beautiful beautiful dusky shades which is the romance set and the romance set is the one that i've used for this car so they're a little bit softer look can you see so you've got that pink fading into like a blue bell i can't i don't know whether you can tell but that's like a blue bell kind of lavender blue at the side and i'll quickly go through quickly that's the color that's the ones that i'm using Purple navy blue into burgundy. So I'm quickly going to flick through. Quick, 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 quick. So basically, you know the drill now with me and papers. I absolutely love papers, but they need to be special for me to release them. I don't just knock any anything out. You know what I'm like. So you've got 40 sheets in each. You've got the color palette there, and you've got all these pets. So you've got the four designs, but the four designs are all designed to work with the same color palette. Oh, morning, Chook. I can see you, darling. So I'm going to pop that to one side and now we're going to get stamping. So I've die cut from the double debossed some ovals. So you can see how well you get that gorgeous debossed edge in there. I'm just going to scroll down because there's loads of comments I've not seen. I can't read them all, but I promise you I will read them later. Yeah. Morning, Gavin. Yes, you do need to get the medleys before they've all gone. <laughs> uh, so you've got that gorgeous debossed edge there. We're going to stamp onto this one. Now I've done two just in case it doesn't stamp properly for me the first time round. so if you i use a gemini and you, you know when you get wavy like that it does my head in but that's because of the gemini plates so i'm just going to kink that back my my die cutting machines get a lot of use so 
we've got the botanical medley on here ready to go it's, it fits perfectly onto my rectangle uh, acrylic block I try not to blind you with the light so you know that you've got a good stand there as always anti-static bag now we're going to do two-tone again i can't remember if i did two-tone embossing powder last week or not but we're doing it again this week anyway and the colors i've chosen are from the premiums again so you can see we've got a lovely like kind of neutral color palette here so there's generally an embossing powder to match all of my papers I, i'm a bit of a coordination freak morning judy video won't play for we'll have to watch later oh not to worry darling refresh your page so this is a neutral neutral palette and the two that i'm using today are cracked pepper which is a, a lovely shade of brown and summer honey let's show you do, 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 that dazzling yeah cracked pepper and summer honey and we're going to do two to remember as well that these these embossing powders you can tell who makes them for me by the shape of the pots these are bigger pots than what you get from other people who might have these these are 20 mil pots yeah uh, but because they're absolutely packed with embossing powder before you use them always just give them a shake and then you won't get so many lumps in it so here we go I'm gonna scroll down and see if I can say hello to anybody dear Phil thank you for your Friday mornings I'm 12 oh thanks Trina a lovely idea oh thank you everybody would it be great if you could design a set to say a huge thank you to all our wonderful NHS do you know what it would be Chrissy yeah Mm, that's planted a seed in my brain right so as you know i prefer perfect medium uh, really doesn't matter whether you use perfect medium hang on a minute i've got some muck in there be careful with these medleys because you know you know when you clean them with baby wipes there's so much detail in the stamp you get bits stuck in them i don't use baby wipes anymore i found these things in a shop called water wipes that are biodegradable so here we go so you know what I'm going to say, perfect medium within an inch of its life. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of detail on here. One thing I will say is don't panic too much. If you're not a confident stamper, it really won't matter if you miss bits. In fact, it actually looks quite nice when you miss bits. Do you think that's enough? <laughs> there we go. This is why I've cut two ovals. So as always, I always turn my rectangles, ovals, whatever, and stamp sideways. So excuse if you get my head. I'm just going to pop that in there. And we're going to press. There we go. This is why I did these in A6 size. I'm going to load in my breath while I'm stamping. <laughs> right, here we go let's have a look so we've got that off there and now we're going to do the two tone of embossing powder here we go so we're going to do i think i think we'll make the brown the more dominant color so we're going to do the cracked pepper at the top and bottom of this so what i'm doing is i'm just letting it roll at the top so we've cut the detail already and then let it roll at the bottom and then pop that back in the pot remember don't decant your uh, embossing powders into tubs like i used to do just so it maintains the anti-static properties so that's back in if you haven't got the premium embossing powders you need to get them because the colors are absolutely gorgeous and then we've got the summer honey all the way through Oh, it's just beautiful. So all that's happened now is we've now got that beautiful image. But can you see now that we've got the cracked pepper top and bottom and we've got the summer honey going through the middle? I just love these stamps. I think I'm going to do some more, you know, next year so we can add to it. Incidentally, before I forget, Trudy has got an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning new release next week. Uh, Julie is doing the well. Julie won't be a whole chance, but she will be doing the demos for you. And I'm sure I can con Trudy into doing as a little Facebook Live next week. <laughs> but wait till you see these stamps that she's done. They're amazing. Right, so I'm going to go from up, above. You know, I don't normally. You know, I like to go from behind normally. But for the sake of for your benefit, I'm going to go from above. Uh, before I start embossing, let me just tell you. 
one thing you do need to be careful of let me just scroll down it again because there's loads of you morning paul thank you uh, mo morning everybody i can't keep up with you thank you gavin how many perfect medium stamp pads do i get through in a week well i always have two on the go but i've, I've always got two or three new ones that i've pinched out of the shop as well <laughs> So one thing I will just say to you, a little tip, when you're heat embossing the premium embossing powders, be careful not to overheat them, because what will happen is you'll scorch it and the colour will go a little bit uh, like mottled. We don't want that. Just, I'm going to start in the top corner. And apologies if you can't see this melting. Just a funny angle. Bear with me, bear with me. I can't even see whether it's melted or not myself, so let's just bear with me a minute. And I've got my posh glasses on. That's just fabulous. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to take my glasses off, which is bizarre because I, I can actually see this better without them. Just make sure I've not missed any bits. I haven't. Look at that. So the text, so in between all that grunginess there, it says we are surrounded by beauty. You can use this card for so, so, so many different occasions. So many different people you just change the colors up so if you did this in pinks and purples it becomes very girly this looks quite neutral the way i've done it now i just wipe my mess up and what we're going to do now is we're going to use set two of the watercolor pens again yeah so let's just straighten that so set two hang on because i've got so much stuff on here you wouldn't believe it um i, I need to tell you as well set two is nearly all but gone uh, uh, Gavin, I do know that one of your customers has messaged me and said, when is set three coming? Um, set three will be about six weeks' time, so you can actually tell people it'll be about six, six weeks, eight weeks. So set two. So in set two, you've got colours that are not in set one. Even those that look a little bit similar are completely different in shade and tone to set one and any forthcoming sets. No colours will be repeated. What, does, what it does mean is by the time we've got all four sets, yeah, you can create so many different colours just by blending the two or three different shades together. We're going to use this kind of mustardy yellow and we're going to use this like rusty, 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 what, could, what rusty what? Rusty, <laughs> rusty orangey brown, yeah, to colour in because I don't want perfect shades. What I want is tonal colours. So here we go. Oh, let's get a water brush, which is in here. Let's go for the fine one. So we've got the fine one. So this time I just want to add a little bit of colour to this. So I'm going to go straight in with the, and now I do need my glasses back on. Maybe we'll cut some of your comments while I'm doing this. I quite like this Friday morning thing. I think I might carry it on after we're all back to normal. Oh, you're welcome, Doreen. I think Carol posted it for you last night. Phil, can I get a set one from anywhere, please? Um, um, uh, message me, message me, Billy. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've, I've got a few left, but I mean a few. So I'm trying to keep them just in case I need any more. So I've got my two colours, which, which obviously you can't see because I've got them on my brown mat. I should have changed it to my other one. But I'm mixing these together, yeah? So what I've done now, look, because I've mixed those two colours together, can you see that that is almost a perfect match? Next time I colour, I'll make sure I've got my blending mat. Have I got one near me? No. But next time I colour, I'll make sure I've got the blending mat. So when I designed this stamp particularly, I wanted to make sure that you could have elements to decoupage. So you know you could cut the you could cut that out, you could cut the bird out there, you can even cut the dragonfly out that's down there just to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just quickly gonna go straight in. 
because I'm going over the top of embossing powder, it really won't matter if I go too close. I can just go over it all, and it won't make any difference. Oops, wrong way around. Just pull that one in. I will give this card away as well. It costs a fortune to post my card. Well, I think it does. I don't actually do it. Carol does it. Oh, that's just so pretty. I'll try not to go too quiet while I'm colouring, but I generally do. Uh, 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 one more flower. Look how little ink I've used as well, and it's just it's just going on for ages. Right, I won't colour the whole thing. This is why the fine tip brush is amazing. The one that you actually get in set two, is you're going to use it so so much. So have I missed anything? Let's do the little flower here. And we'll do the dragonfly wings. So although we've got a montage like medley stamp here, it's actually now made almost a background oh, to the bird. It's now actually almost made a complete full topper because it's got all the detail in it. Let me just do this. But stop talking while I'm doing the delicate bits. Well, I'll stop there. You don't want to see me colouring for ages. But what I'm going to do now, now that that's dried, I'm just going to go in with the rusty colour and make it a little bit darker. You can also mix the rusty colour with black. If you mix the rusty colour with black, what you actually get is like a really dark, almost like walnut stain shade. So I'm just going to go at the bottom of that and add a bit more darker colour just to give it some shading. I won't do them all. Look how easy that is to do. So, so easy to do. Just go to the bottom. You see, that's it. You've lost me once I start colouring. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Let's wipe the mess up. I'll just show you that so you can see the colours. Look how gorgeous that is when, you make, when the colours start matching together. So easy to do. And now what I'm going to do, did I wipe the ink off? So the question I get asked the most is about oxides and ink pads that match what I do. Now, when I'm designing or when I'm creating and developing new embossing powders or any anything really, I don't actually look at the colours for, for embossing powders uh, for uh, distress oxides. I think what tends to happen is because my eye is 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 so i'm good with color <laughs> even if i say so myself there's generally a distress oxide or a versifying clear or some sort of ink pad that will tone perfectly with what i do so what i've got here that so these are the two that i tend to use with the summer honey and with the uh cracked pepper brush core dryer fossilized amber um spice uh, no, spice marmalade also is really nice with this so as a set of three Spice Marmalade, Fossilised Amber and Brush Corduroy is a really good set for this, right? So we're going to do a little bit of inking around the edge. I've got my sleeves up. I've got my smoothies. So we're going to go on first with the Fossilised Amber. The reason I'm doing this is because you see how we've got that, you know what a perfectionist I am, because we've got a little bit of a gap either side of this oval. That will just annoy me. So to bring all that in together, we'll just go around the edge with the two ink ink pads and I'm, I'm just twizzling it around with my fingers as well right so as soon as you put fossilized amber on you can see that it's a bit more yellow than than honey honey colored and this is why you need brush corduroy brush corduroy if you haven't got it it's one of my favorite favorite browns it's one of the most underused because everybody tends to go for vintage photo, walnut stain, that kind of thing. But brush corduroy is a really beautiful mid, mid shade of brown. So let's just, I won't, I won't worry about that. So can you see what's happened now? The brush corduroy on top of the fossilized amber has now gone like a rusty color. I'll bring it up and show you in a second. So the two colors have blended together and it, it completely tones it all down. Oh, that's just fab, fab, fab. Hey, I'm not easy to please, but I quite like that. Not done a bad job there. There we go. So we'll pop that image to one side. Again, like I say, once you've got these stamps home, you can quite easily just 
stamp and emboss again, decoupage elements from it. Pop that to one side. And what we're going to do now, once I've cleaned this ink off, and of course I ain't got a wipe with me. Hang on, I'm just going to grab a wipe, bear with. So I might be open it. There we go. You know I can't work in a mess. It, take, it takes me, this will make you laugh, it takes me just as long to get ready for one of these as it does to get ready for a one day special. Because <laughs> I've got everything all nice and neat. Let me just look at some of the new comments. Sorry, everybody. Uh, smoothies, that's not what we usually call them. No, it's not Bob. I can't tell everybody on here what I normally call them. Uh, yeah, it's a cracking idea, that, Paul. I'll see if I can get time to do that. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the bigger oval now I, I, you get me you either get me in one or two frames of mind so sometimes i love the crispness that you get so when you pop the layering die underneath and you've got the white i, some, I love that so that it makes the image pop but what we're going to do is something a little bit different we're going to use the scratchy background stamp yeah you can see where i've been testing it but yeah the scratchy is one of my all-time favorites it looks really messy but you know, even when you use it on pretty cards, it, it just it just adds something else, just a little bit of texture, a little bit of dimension. But I don't want a really strong finish. So I'm not going to go direct with the ink pads. What I'm going to do is water brush it. So you've probably all seen these already. And Gavin, if you haven't got these, you need them or everybody needs them. This set particularly, the one with the, let me take the lids off. The one that is the brushes. I keep all mine in the in the case as well. So the one with the brushes, we've all got hundreds of water brushes. You know what it's like. I've collected them over the years. So when I did my own, I had to make sure that they were really good quality. And I wanted the brushes because I know, and you probably do yourself, that I bought one that's actually smaller than that for nearly twice the price of what this whole set is. But this big brush here, actually, I'll use the middle one. We'll use the middle one. They're amazing for this. So I'll just pop that to one side. So we're going to go all the way around. Yeah. All the way around the edge with this water brush. And I'm squeezing as I go because I want it quite wet. And can you this is this is kind of like a Chanda demo where it takes me an hour to make one card. And what we're going to do now, just make sure that that is wet around the edges. Take the glasses off though. I can't actually tell, so I'm going to do it again. Just make it really wet. What I want is a watercolour effect from this from this stamp, this background stamp. That'll do. And I'll be quick. So I'm going to go in like Julia does, like my mate Julia. And we're just going to go around the edge with the this is the summer honey first. Look at this, I love this stamp. Everybody needs the scratchy stamp in your stash. It even works on your Christmassy cards when you emboss it in white. Right, so we've gone around with the uh, summer honey. You see what's happening there, look. Yeah. And then we're gonna go around over the top of that with the, with the brush corduroy. Yeah. And I'm not worrying too much, I don't need to cover that. Thing because obviously we're only going to see we're only going to see the middle and because the card is still a little bit damp you would be able to add more water than I've just done I think I could have added a little bit more water I'll just clean the mess am I the only person that cleans as I go please tell me that one of you does it as well I can't be the only person <laughs> There we go. Oh, that's that's amazing. Look at so at the top is the effects that I'm going for. So can you see that the colours have gone muted because it's 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 like watercoloured itself out, it's like bled itself out a little bit. That's the kind of look that I'm going for. Yeah. So if I was to create a whole background from that stamp, it would be too harsh for me, it would be too strong. Hang on, it says here that my drop box is almost full. Let me just get rid of it. Um so by doing the water first and then stamping into the water, it just softens it for you. 
and then when you put that over the top of there look at that oh that's just that's just fabulous i love that love 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 that so i'm just going to leave that to one side to dry let me get rid of my mouse mat i thought i'd done that uh, so i'm going to leave that to dry for a second and we're going to go around the edge of the papers that i've already cut with the same ink pads just to give it a softer edge so i'm pretty sure most of you will have bought some of my papers at some point so you will know that you can do loads and loads of different techniques with these you can you can spritz them with water you can ink on them you can stamp on them uh, the quality is good enough as well for you to run it through embossing folders so uh, yes yes they're on the way everybody keeps asking me so i'm literally just going to go around the edge he says and i want it really really soft oops don't do what i did that's what leone calls a double dipper so i'm literally just softening the edges i try not to twist my mat as i go you don't see me do this all that often it used to be my thing if anybody remembers me from the old days and i'm not going to say who i worked for or where i was but you'll remember doing the edges was my thing i couldn't bear white edges uh, I, i'm kind of different now it's funny how your style changes uh, i don't mind white edges i sometimes like the christmas that you get let's have a look at some comments just while i'm doing this let's see if i can answer some of you karen lever oh, oh hey look <laughs> that's my sister <laughs> she's vlogging to you all look oh thank you so yes but thanks judy see it's not just me do you know the reason i do it i think it's because when i'm when i'm working now i tend to have long sleeves on and years ago i remember having a, a lovely lovely white shirt on and it wasn't white on the on the edges by the time i'd done my cuffs by the time i'd done i'm going to add a little bit of the um of the brush corduroy again i've got ink everywhere now but, i mean that's just fab so what it's done is it's turned that it's turned that um what do you call it that one the fossilized amber and it's made it like a warm shade of rusty brown look how well it works on the paper as well and i'll just do the other one there we go i wonder if i could do a 10 minute demo do you think do you think that's a possibility anybody a 10 minute demo from phil is, is highly unlikely right here we go that's fab that's fab so i'll just pop that to one side i'm going to put the sponges in the lid because i'm going to be using them again in a second all this ink here i know what you're saying don't waste it phil don't waste it phil and to be quite honest i wouldn't now i've kind i've kind of got into everybody else's frame of mind of using all the inks and everything on your mat so what i would usually do is just drag that along some scrap white card and then when i'm die cutting my flowers or my leaves or anything you've got a lovely you've got a lovely tonal uh, tonal scrap of card that will work so the flowers so i've i learned from last week i've only got one to do yeah so i've already got loads already done but i want to show you the edges because that's how they started yeah and that's how they are now so i want to show you again with the papers how easy it is to change them so what we're going to do is this is why you'll need these let me see what i do now so i'm going to go on the edges like we normally do and i'm going straight on with the uh fossilized amber i keep wanting to call it summer honey but it's not it's fossilized amber so i'm not being neat with this look it doesn't it doesn't need to be neat it will be fab by the time we've finished i'm just going on the edge let me see if I can see some more questions while I'm. I love all your demos and inspiration. Happy Easter. Thank you, Joan. Morning, Yanis. Chrissy, Julia would mop it up and make more background. She would. She's absolutely right, Chrissy, as well. I, I have started to do that, I've got to say. So we've got the fossilized amber on, and now we're just going to do the same with the brush corduroy. But I'm literally just doing a tiny, tiny bit of the edge look with the brush corduroy all will become clear because you know as well as i do that i would never put that kind of flower on my cards so we've just got a little bit of the brush corduroy at the edges 
bear with, bear with. Oh, that's it, I've done all four. Now, are you ready? So the big water brush, I'm gonna squeeze a bit of water on there, just so that I've got it proper wet. And I'm gonna hold the middle. So I'm holding the middle of the flower because I don't want the actual middle to be more chance of me getting a pay rise. That's not likely, is it? That's my, look, can you see that? Karen Lever, yeah, it's not happening, darling. Right, so I'm holding the middle because I want the middle to stay white, yeah? And I'm just gonna drag that down like that, yeah? I'm gonna do it on all four. And then I'll do the other one. This is the quality of these papers. You can do, you can, I mean, this is quite wet. I don't know whether you, can you see how wet that is? But this is really, really quite wet. So what I've done now, because I've used oxides and I, su I suppose it would work with Versifying Clay and I suppose it would work with the original um, Distress Inks as well. But what we've done now, tweezers, let me just show you, is we've now created the tone on this to match the rest of the to match the rest of the card, but we've got it kind of fades into it. So the brush corduroy fades into the into the fossilized amber, and then we've got the lovely white center in that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Just let that dry for a second. Clean up the mess. I'm going to leave that to dry just for a minute while we start layering this card up. So you know me and lots of layers. You're just gonna have to bear with me now while I stick some foam tape on. I I use so much of this, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Julia will tell you. I usually message and I go, right, I'm onto my 16th roll of foam tape. <laughs> and that's just when I'm prepping for a one-day special. You don't have to use loads of dimension, it's just me. I like to have the layers the layers in different heights. Oh, look at that, that was a good guess, wasn't it? So your tweezers, remember your tweezers are on the website. I'm gonna show you the website in a second. I'm just swap them. Because we've got, I don't know whether you've all noticed, but we've had a revamp on the website. I'll show you in a minute. Just get this on. Uh, so, so you, you're going to ask me how big this card is. It's 24 by 19. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. So I'm just going to stick my head in front of the camera. Sorry, everybody. Just while I pop that on. I'll try and get it straight. And of course I did. And then the next two layers, I'll just pop that to one side. We'll stick this one on with glue as ever. I'm using my 60 mil glue. I use the 120 when I'm on TV because uh, it holds more and I've got less chance of running out. But when I'm at home crafting for myself, I use the 160, uh, the 160, the 60, because it's just easier to handle. Put that straight in there. I love the rectangles. Love the rectangles and I love the ovals. They're the ones I tend to use the most because you've got that beautiful edge going on both, both layers. And then we'll get some foam tape on that just to surprise you. Get the mess on me. So look at your comments. Trudy, I've got my own category now. You have Trudy. You have, darling. You've got your own stamps by Trudy Howard category. <laughs> and hopefully the new ones are not showing just yet. I know you're right, Lynn. It is difficult putting loads of dimension on. One thing I will say is I'm I'm good at making cars, but I'm rubbish at sending them. Just ask any member of my family how many birthday cards. <laughs> it's a bit of a family joke now. Make cards for a living, but rarely post them. It's very naughty of me. You've all got more chance of getting one than my sister has. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some foam tape on the back of there. Right, look at the mess. So you know next week before I start, remind me to bring the bin to the side of me. Because all my mess is going up the side and it's it's in my line of vision. It's annoying me. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna go the other way. So because we've got that beautiful ombre effect, yeah. 
I'm going to have the dusky, the dusky minky colour on that side. And we've got that lovely honey rusty colour on that side. So on the paper at the top, I'm going to turn it round. So we've got the honey colour on that side and the brown on the other. It just, it just is, is one of the things I had in my head when I was designing the papers, how you would be able to layer things up. Look how fab that looks already before I even put anything on it. I haven't forgotten about the flowers. I'll glue this on just to save a bit of time. So remember when you're wetting the papers, just give them enough chance to dry naturally rather than rather than um, force drying them with the heat gun. This is why I tell everybody, if you only ever buy one set of the dyes, it needs to be the ovals because I cannot, cannot cut an oval or a circle to save my life. So when you get that, because that just annoys me to death, just hold it from the other, other side, let the glue grab. Julia puts hers under a big piece of MDF. I've usually got a book, but I haven't got one there. And it's because the, it's a wet glue. But what happens is, there you go, once it's flattened, you see, the glue dries and it stays flat. So more photo tape going on. I'll try and be quick with this bit. I'll look at your comments while I'm doing it. Me too. I've often made cards posted them. I forgot to write them. <laughs> at least you get to. At least you post them, Jane. This is far. It's more than I get. It's like you've done this before, Phil. Oh, thanks, Jane. Chuke. I can't call. You, I can't call you Jane. It doesn't sound right. I'm hoping that we're sort of back to normal for Ali Pali. Uh, it's obviously a difficult times for everybody at the minute. But one of the things we're feeling is that we're not getting out to the shows and things to see people, uh, which is it's just a shame, but we all have to do our bit. Let's get this made up. Mess. Oh, this is so pretty. Right, so just, I'm just going to pop that straight in the middle up. There we go. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've now got to stamp a little sentiment. So I've got two tags here. I don't know why I've got two because I only need one. Oh, I know it's in case I cocked it up. <laughs> and what I'm going to use is remember, remember when I did these, the compendium sentiment. Um, oh, I love these. These are, I, I go to these so, so often now. So what you've got, you can see you've got four different styles. You've got pretty ones, you've got swirly ones, you've got decorative ones, you've got bold ones, and you've got grungy ones. So these four sets of stamps, because you've got border sentiments, you've got big sentiments, but you've also got little tiny sentiments in every one of them. These four sets of stamps will cover everybody. So if you're somebody who likes the grungy style, go for, I can't even remember the word, grungy philistic, you know, I don't have things normal <laughs> uh, i love the bold love 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 the bold one because i like embossing powders uh the decorative one is obviously you know people are going to like the decorative this decorative one because it's uh, sorry that's that's beautiful sorry beautifulistic because you've got the lovely swirly fonts in there and i love this one love 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 decorative tastic that one's called yeah so when I designed them, I designed them specifically as a as a compendium, like I've said, because I wanted the um, which one shall I use? Do, 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 I'm going to use bold uh, because I wanted you to have a, a compendium of sentiment stamps that you could go to time and time and time again, and you know that they're never going to date or go out of style or out of fashion. So the reason I don't know whether you've seen me do this when I'm on TV because I know that this is going to go there. I always stamp on an angle as well. So if I put if I put the little tag the angle that I want it, I can then find a stamp that will fit in it. I hope one of these fits in it now. So can have happy birthday. I'm gonna have enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. And guess where all my acrylic circles are? They're the other side of the room. I'm just gonna grab one. Try planning it next time, Phil. I'm back. Let's pop that there. This is why acrylic circles, this is why I made sure we've got the small one in there because all these tiny, tiny sentiments, I'm assuming you've all seen these, yeah, all got them by now. Yeah, 
the tiny tiny one the small one is so ergonomical you can see it just fits in your hand and it's so easy to stand with shall we do two-tone do you want two-tone shall we do a two-tone sentiment let me know quick 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 let me know because you can do two-tone sentiments as well right i'm going to do it it took too long to answer me but i'm going to do it so perfect medium, anti-static bag, always anti-static bag, whether you think you need it or not, it's worth doing it. Because this is a small stamp, I'm going to do the naughty way. And I'm just going to step, push that into the perfect medium. I'll change the angle a little bit so I can, I'm sorry, I'm going to put my head in the, in the frame. There we go, so we've got enjoy your day there. I can't, I don't show you what my hair looks like. If you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen I put a picture of Cousin It. <laughs> and I said, current current hair situation. <laughs> so we'll do the same again. Look, we're just going to do the bottom. Oh, we've got more in the cracked pepper. <laughs> but we will have two tones. Put that away. And a little bit of the summer honey. Summer honey. Come on, Phil. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got a bit of two tone going on there. Yeah. Put that away. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm just going to do this from above again just to be quicker. I know it's very naughty. Love that. Love, love, love. And it's a fab that you can do your sentiments to match your papers and everything like that. I will just say the pre the premium embossing powders, which is the range that these are from, they're not glossy, glossy. I know you can see that shine in there, but what they are is like a, a contradiction in terms, but it's a matte gloss. So it's kind of a, 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 a more subtle finish. Right, here we go. So let's get to the flower. So that's dried. Lovely now. Look how that's dried now. Look. It's just so, so beautiful. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how I shape these flowers because I've got quite a few to go on this curve. So when I'm doing papers, and I'm going to be 100% honest with you, the, the shaping tool, the bone folder that I use the most, can you remember Kay? Kay who did a uh, hooky board? So the, the bone folder that was attached to her boards is really flexible. Uh, and I love to do this, with, but I can't find it. can't find the board, let alone anything else. So I'm holding the middle. And I'm using the end of this tool rather than the long way. And I'm just going to drag that down a lot. Yeah. So just remember to hold the middle so you don't pull the petal off. I've done that a few times. The sweetheart flower, which is the one that I'm using now, I'm going to show you the dies in a second. Because I think this is one of my favourites as well because of the shape of it. So we've now got that dimension going on. Look. Yeah. We'll just do the next one just remember to hold it in the middle i don't want you to pull i'm not actually applying any pressure i'm just dragging the tool along with my thumb as i go there we go there we go there we go and i've got my stamping that underneath so i'm just going to roll that with my shaping tool it's so easy to create gorgeous dimension from these and my glue, which has fell down and dripped onto my desk. Thank you for that glue. So a little bit of glue is all you need for this. And then I'm going to off-center them. Uh, I will just say as well, I've not done it on this demo. I might do it next week. Um, if you've got my vellum, the white frost vellum, doing alternate layers of paper and vellum is really pretty as well. Because uh, you, get, you get some of the design from the paper showing underneath. I'm just going to pop that on there. Right, 
that because I'm just going to put that to one side. Did I bring the pearls across? No, I didn't, but I can get one in a minute. Right, so glitter. So you all know I love my Diamond Dazzle because Diamond Dazzle is um, clear and it works on everything. I'll just take a look at this before getting it everywhere. But for this card, this is the chestnut, chestnut glitter. I, I can't tell you how difficult it was to get this beautiful, beautiful shade of, of glitter. This is the Glitter Alchemy uh, chestnut, which you can see is going to work with that because it's the brown tones. And I'm also going to do some of the holographic gold, yeah? So when we were looking for um, holographic glitters, I wanted the gold that was a proper gold rather than a, rather than a, I don't know what the right word is. I uh, need those compendium stamps if Ali Pali is still on, will you take them? Yeah, we'll have them, Duke. So, but what I want, that would be too much on its own. That would be too much on its own. So you know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to get one of my empty jars. I'm not sure whether we've got any of these left in stock. You'll have to look on the website. And I'm going to create my own mix now. So Julia, Julia, if you're still watching, I'm going to call you. She just goes like that and chucks a load in. Well, I'm a bit more, I'm a bit more precise. So I've got a spoon of the chestnut. I'm going to put the lid on that before I knock it everywhere. And I'm going to put less of the holographic in because the holographic is quite is quite a strong glitter, yeah. And then I'm going to shake that up. Oh, oh, oh! You didn't tell me, did you? That would have just annoyed me. Right, so I'm just shaking that up. Are you ready for this? I hope you can see how beautiful this is when I show you. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, 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 where are you? Oh, that's just so, so beautiful. So what's happened, uh, although it doesn't actually change the colour of the glitters, obviously, because it's a, it's a material, what it does is it blends the colours together and it gives you that beautiful, beautiful two-tone effect. That's just so lovely. In fact, I'm going to be really naughty and I'm going to shove a bit of the Diamond Dazzle in as well. Oh, look, this is a plastic spoon, <sighs> but at least it's teal. So let's just show you that again before I change it, because the Diamond Dazzle will tone that down even more. So I'm going to put a bit of the Diamond Dazzle in. Put that away. You can see how much I use this. It's permanently on my desk, look. It never even gets put away. Right, and shake that up. Shake, shake, shake. You ready? Oh my word. Oh my word. That's just that's just too beautiful. <laughs> so we've got that there. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pop the flowers on. I'm only gonna use that on the leaves because I think when you use colored glitters, for me personally, colored glitters when you put them all over is a little bit too intense. So if I was making this card again, it would be diamond dazzle around there, diamond dazzle around there. And then the accents, so the middle of the flowers, the tips of the flower petals, the tips of the leaves would be with the mix that we've just created. So we'll stick the flowers. Oh, I need to just get a pearl. Hang on. Where are the pearls? Right, the pearls, where are you? Where are my white pearls? Porcelain white is empty. Oh, that's just bugging me. Take my glasses off. I can't find the white pearls. Oh, I found them. Somebody, somebody last week, I think it was, uh, was it Judy? Said about doing a tour of my room. I might do that for you one day. Um, so you can see where everything is. Listen, this is me saying, I can't find my pearls. I'll leave you to think about that on your own. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to pop. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're going to pop one of the big pearls in the middle of there. And I've gone for white just because um, it's more neutral. Let's just hold that in place. There we go. So I'll just let that dry for a second. Mm -hmm. 
can see how this car's coming together. Yeah, I can see you all laughing. You're obviously on the same wavelength. <laughs> oh dear. What am I doing? Oh yeah, sticky flowers on. All right, so glue on here. As always, glue on my mat. And then we'll start with... So I'm going for this, this one in the bottom because it's a lighter tone look. So I'm going to pop that one in the bottom corner. Get some of that glue off. I'm not going to cover that lovely image up. So you see, you can you can do like medleys and um, I'm not going to say grungy because it isn't, but kind of collage style stamps, but make them look pretty rather than too too heavy and grungy. Let's put that one in the top corner. There we go. So you know, I did. I did some ahead of time. And I've gone back to my favourite spot, look, bottom right, top left. Just make sure I'm doing that right. Yeah, that's it. This one. So just holding it in place just till the glue grabs. Hey, I'd never get this much time on telly, would I? Do you see what I mean now about that texture? That what that texture does is it, it takes all the colours and it just it just blends them all into that main image at the front row. Yeah. But it's so soft because I use the water, it's not a really strong, it's not a really strong in your face, grungy texture. It's just it's just a little bit soft and subtle. So we've got the leaves now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip these so that they're shorter. So remember last week when I demoed and I explained to you why I've made this this so long? I've done that because I know that you'll, you'll be the same as me. Sometimes you want to go right underneath and you find that you can't because the stem of the leaf is not long enough. I found that over the years. But this time I'm going to snip some of the bottom ones off. Snip, 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 snip. If I can catch it, bear with me. I love these non-stick scissors. No such thing. <laughs> and then I'm going to shape this one back. So long tweezers. This is when you need your long tweezers. So I'm just going to hold down the middle. And I'm going to bend that one back. Yeah, pop that there. Just going to do the same with the other one. Snip the bottom three leaves. Snip that off. It's a shame to waste them, really. And if Julia wants them. <laughs> so long tweezers just down the stem. Just bend those back. I tend I tend to not use the shaping tool on my leaves anymore because we've got all the I don't know whether you can see that. Because we've got the detail with the there you go, Joss. Because we've got the D boss detail in there. I tend to not use the shaping tool because it squashes that out. And then the other one I'm going to leave long and I'm going to point those up. I love, love, love using the two leaves together. It's just so, it's so beautiful. There we go. Right, so let's get these on. So I'm going to tuck that one with a bit of glue underneath here. And then this one facing the opposite direction will go at the side of it. Come on, get underneath, do as you're told. There we go. This is, this is me in my happy place, as you know. Just squash that into the glue. And the same on the bottom. Let's just tuck that one underneath there. And you'll notice I'm back to my wet glue for my flowers, so let me just pull that off a minute. Uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot, actually, is I don't know whether anybody's ever thought this themselves. You know, like when, when I've made my cars, the flowers keep the shape. I've had lots and lots of people over the years saying to me, how do you flowers not get squashed and crushed, especially when I'm dragging them to TV and everything in boxes. And I think it's because of the wet glue. Um, I think the wet glue, because the wet glue dries hard, 
it means the flowers the flowers keep the shape and, and keep position just put that one back on right now we're going to add a little tint of that glitter two little flowers i'm not wasting them where's not one no who'd have, who'd have thought that this was a a, a a collage kind of project yeah it just looks so pretty doesn't it so now we're going to add a little bit of that glitter so one of my favorite favorite things of the moment is adding a little bit onto the pearl so i don't cover the whole pearl in glue but what i do do is a little blob look on each pearl i don't know whether you notice this kind of thing on tv because i don't know how close the cameras get and then what i'm going to do is on the middle of the these petals so where the heart where the heart middle is yeah i'm going to add a bit there oops come on w there and you'll see what i mean then about just using stronger glitters just use less of and it still looks just as good it's working my way around and you know i can't miss one because i'm sending this to somebody if you want me to do anything specific next week just send me a send me a quick message i know somebody asked me to do use the pens and just just demo the pens um after last week but i don't want to just do that i might do it next week for you because next friday next friday will be a very 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 special demo because i'm going to be demoing trudy's new stamps so the show the one day at six o'clock um you're going to love these stamps absolutely love them i'm i'm amazed every time trudy does a new set of stamps i am amazed <laughs> mind you she'll tell you herself i'm a bit of a taskmaster <laughs> So I'm going to demo these stamps for you next week and show you how easy they are to colour. Here we go. So we'll stop there. And I'm just going to get my paper and catch this glitter. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. Because this glitter is stronger than, than just using a plain white or an iridescent one. Yeah. Just these little bits on the tip is all you need. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oops. I'm glad I'm not hoovering. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <gasps> Look at this mess. Now you know why I like my big tubs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So because the because the holographic is a super fine hang on, let me just sort this mess out. Because the holographic is a super fine, what you find happens is the holographic will get to all the little places and go. I'm not going to say I'm just giving it a blow, but I did. <laughs> because the holographic is super fine, it gets into all the little nooks and crannies. So where there's a little bit of the glue still not quite dry it will get it will get into there wait till you see this so i'm obviously not going to waste that that's going to get used again and again clean the mess up <laughs> look at all this don't watch me do this pretend you didn't see me do this oops right are you ready are you ready to see just how pretty this glitter is uh, just giving it another blow for good measure well so i'll let you see from a distance look so you can see the dimension we've got going on there from the flowers and i'll just bring that so can you see the little bit of sparkle you're getting in between the the leaves of the uh the petals of the flower bring this one in so you can see some of the brown yeah oh it's, obviously you're still seeing the glue wet because it's it's still white and wet but those little tints there are what make it special so whoever wins this card you'll be able to see this better than we can from here 
So there you go. That's another little demo done for you. So like I say, I will give this one away as well. And I'll choose I'll choose a name. I'll just scroll through the name uh, the comments tomorrow morning, lunchtime probably, and I will um, sign it and get it sent off to you. Before I go, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly oh look at my iPad, it's covered in how pretty is that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quickly just show you what the new website looks like because I know um, I've had a few people message me and say, oh, you, you, this, your website's gone, so I just want you to have a quick look. So this is how it looks now. Look. Oh, look, coming soon, stamps by Trudy Howard, Fashionista collection. That gives you a hint. So all the categories now, all the menus are at the top. Then you've got some picture things there with links and what have you, blah, blah, blah. Then you've got me rattling on talking, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So what it does is it's made it really easy for you now to navigate to, let's just go to, uh, where are my stamps? Oh, let's go to Trudy's, stamps by Trudy. And then the categories come up there, look. So let's go to her wings collection. Click the wings collection, blah, 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 blah. Trudy's wings collection. And then it shows you all the stamps in one place, look. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you because it's really pretty and it took me forever to do that myself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you did. Uh, give me some hints if you want me to do anything specific. Next week, I will be using Trudy's new release, although the shows are still going to be on on Friday. So the one day special launch is Thursday at tea time. And I can't remember what the hours are now for Friday. I think it's 8, 12, and 4. So I'm going to demo 11 till 12 with Trudy's new stamps. And I'm going to use the pens and show you how easy it is to work with them. You're going to love these stamps. I'm going to tell you now that they'll be popular because they're just beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, so stay safe, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me just have another quick look before I leave you. It's time for a cup of tea for me. How beautiful are these papers? The whole thing is just so easy to do. Yeah. So have fun. Treat yourself if you can on the lovely new website. Uh, take care. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. I'm going to make a drink and send up to all your comments. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And I'll see you same time next Friday. Bye.